Today, we'll move to another important topic of ELT, which is lesson planning. Uh, this involves planning a lesson uh, for a certain uh, teaching outcome. In the beginning, I'll just introduce you to what a lesson planning is. A lesson plan uh, may be seen as a framework for a lesson. Uh, one of the greatest advantages of uh, this important tool is that it uh, makes both instructor and the learner focus on their uh, purpose of the study. It also enables uh, learners to achieve their learning goals uh, more efficiently. A lesson, as we know, may be defined as a set of unified uh, activities which may be performed uh, at a particular time uh, in a certain lesson. A lesson plan, in other words, may work as a map. It helps a teacher, helps a teacher or shows him where to start from or where to finish. It also tells him or her about the route uh, to be followed in order to perform a certain teaching activity. Lesson plans are usually the product of a teacher's own thoughts uh, because it involves a teacher's ideas about what to achieve as well as how to achieve it. Most of uh, the lesson plans are usually in written form. Uh, there will be as many different kinds of plans as there are teachers because every teacher might include his or her his or her own individual thoughts in his or her lesson plan. Trainee teachers usually make detailed lesson plans because they are expected to provide detailed descriptions of uh, their uh, teaching as well as the activities they would like to introduce in the classroom in order to teach a certain uh, teaching item. Therefore, uh, they, they may also be expected to tell uh, tell the reader or tell us about how would they perform a certain, a certain activity. Uh, they might write detailed instructions uh, in the lesson plan, plan in a lesson plan uh, about how to perform a certain activity. Uh, however, experienced teachers might not make that detailed lesson plans because uh, uh, through their experience they might uh, carry on their teaching and it may happen that some experienced teachers may have some short notes for their classroom and they could still perform well within the classroom. Besides this, the, uh, there are certain reasons for making planning for a lesson. Uh, it is always uh, advantages for any professional working in any profession uh, that if he or she makes a good plan, uh, he or uh, he or she may have better chances to be successful in carrying out a certain professional task. So planning may be seen as a good sign of uh, uh, some, some valuable professionalism. As far as the teachers are concerned, uh, same is the case, and we could expect that if you plan well, you, you are in a better position uh, to take care of your students and therefore earn their respect as well. Uh, students are always there to judge you within the classroom, but if you have planned things well for them uh, within the classroom, uh, they would judge you, judge you in a better way. Uh, planning also gives teachers some opportunities uh, to tailor their material and teaching according to the needs of their students. At the same time, it helps uh, teachers consider the teaching situation uh, uh, according to their uh, students so they could adapt their lecture according to the possible teaching situation and prospect of students. Uh, it also gives teachers a chance to predict uh, the possible problems which may uh, which they may confront in, in, in a lesson so they can devise some strategies to meet those problems in advance. Overall we could say uh, that planning Considering all these advantages we have just discussed uh, can make a teacher feel more confident about the lesson they are about to deliver in a classroom. So, uh, in short, we might assume that planning a lesson is always good for a language teacher.